In this video, we'll show a very basic use for object level settings. Uh, we'll change the color of these members in the drawing based off their profile. Uh, so the object level settings work off filters, um, so they'll draw that information from the model and then put it into the drawing. So we'll open up the filters here. Uh, you'll see Tekla's got a lot of standard settings already, um, but we'll go ahead and create our own for the sake of the video. So I'll just create a new filter here and add a row. Uh, we'll go to the property, change it to profile. Uh, so what we're looking for here is part profile equals, and then we'll select from the model. You can type the value in if you need. We'll then uh, save that away to a unique name that we all remember down the line. And we'll also turn it on for our drawing types as well, so we can see it when we create the drawings. We'll go ahead and create that for the two other members that we have in there as well, and just keep changing the name so that they're, they're different. And last one, SHS 75. Now that we've got those saved away, uh, we just need to set up what our representations will be. Uh, so we go to our drawing properties and we are looking for the object part, so we'll, uh, we're editing this one here. Now that we got that, so for, for our instance here, we're just going to change the, the appearance of it. Uh, so I just want to change this one to a red. And I'll change the fill as well, just to really demonstrate what's going on here. And then we save that away with the unique name as well. So for this one, I'll just go 350. And then we'll do the same for the other two profiles. So for this one, I'll go blue and I'll change the, the fill to blue as well and change that to 150. Uh, I think it was 125 actually. Yep, just checking the model. Yep. And then I'll do the same for our SHS 75 as well. So I'll change that to a magenta and the fill is a magenta as well. Save that one away to 75. And that's done. So now we can shut that. Uh, now we open up our object level settings, which is this one here. Uh, it's already pre-populated with what Tech will use as standard, uh, but which is a, a lot more in detail than what we have. Uh, but this is just illustrating uh, how to use this. So I'll just delete all these rows. I'll add three rows. So that's what we're going to be using based off our three members. So the first column here is our filter that we created. So that's uh, we'll work off SHS 75. We're looking for the object type part, which is what we created for, and then the save setting for that one, which was 75. We'll do the same for the other two. So it'll be SHS 125 part, and it's already loaded up there. And then we'll go the 350 as well. SHS 350 part, and then load up the 350 standard. Save that away again. I'll just save it as SHS. And then we'll apply that so it starts coming into play uh, in our drawing that we're going to create soon. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and create a view, uh, just an elevation view for us to work off. And then I'll open grid one. So now we can work off this, so I'll create a a GA drawing. I'll just double check the properties are correct and it's all loaded. So it's coming through correctly, so we'll just apply that. I'm going to apply it again and we'll just open that drawing. You'll see that our representations have come through correctly uh, based off the profiles. Um, so yeah, that's basically set up. Uh, you can go through more in depth and set this up for part marks, anything like that. Uh, and based off really any attribute in the model. Thank you for listening.